All right, everyone, it is time for an MRE lunch because I'm starving and I finally got my main computer repaired here so I can put this cross platform. We have a special treat today, thankfully, uh, due to one clanker who sent me one of these. This is the pepperoni pizza MRE. Now, I'm going to try to autofocus this properly so that you can see what it says. Uh, I normally don't use many. There we go. Mmm. Enriched bleach flour, wheat flour, niacin, iron, uh, thiamine, and a bunch of other stuff that actually keeps it edible. We've got vegetable crackers too, and uh, what was this? Yeast bread with jalapenos. There's also a bunch of sweets. MREs typically contain a large proportion of sweet things. Cherry blueberry cobbler. That's in this, so, you know, the little reach or the little pouch. Uh, this was an oatmeal cookie, and this is a chocolate protein drink powder. Now, I don't really eat sweets, but I will take one for the team and try the cobbler. Um, that's the only sweet component that I'm going to try. Now, this is meant to actually go in the flameless ration heater. Uh, I'm not sure if you're actually supposed to put the pizza in there, but we're going to see. Anyway, I'll try to manage the autofocus as I can. and. Uh, now, sometimes these don't rip properly either. It can be a big fucking problem. All right, we're just going to uh, rip it along the bottom then. For some reason, that's not doing its thing. Now, this is something that is uh, considered a meme uh, for MRE purposes. A rock or something. That's what you're supposed to pop the flameless ration heater on. So we're going to get it hissing. Hopefully you'll be able to hear the hiss. I'm going to see what we can do here. Yeah, stuff the cobbler in on one side. Typically you put the fluid in first and, well, yeah, I guess I'll do it the right way. Do not overfill. If you do, it will swamp the magnesium pellets that are inside of this. And, uh, that would be bad. Right. Now, hopefully this is one that will actually heat properly. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. I'm going to heat up our cobbler. Oh, yeah. Get in there. And we've got uh, all sorts of good shit here. I'm hoping I can fit the uh, pizza in as well. I don't know if it's going to fit, though, man. No? Okay, well, they'll place it on top. And the rock or something is going to be the oatmeal cookie here. And again, the hope is that this actually fits properly. Sometimes if you need the little magnesium pellets, they give you a little bit more warmth. It doesn't really matter if you eat this particular entree cold, I believe, so we'll try to balance the pepperoni pizza. There we go. Okay, that should be fine. Anyway, well, it's, it's kind of fine. I'm doing the best that I can. I haven't made an MRE video in a long time. I'll show you the... Peas jalapeno spread again. I've got to do the autofocus here. Cheese spread with jalapenos. Cheddar cheese and various other bullshit. And these actually I'm kind of interested in. Vegetable crackers. This must be a new advent. I don't think that I've seen those before. We'll see if we can get a little bit of a hiss here as well. Uh, I don't know. Oh, they do smell vegetable -y. I'm hoping these are sort of like those soup crackers. You know, you put in soup. Uh, I'm hoping. They do smell like they've got some herbs in them. What the fuck kind of herbs are in them? Onion, carrot, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, celery, and tomato with vegetable uh, seasoning. Salt, cornstarch, hydrolyzed soy protein, dextrose, wheat flour, onion powder, yeast extract, soybean oil, spices, spice extractives, and everything else that you need to make a super soldier, of course. That's vaguely warming up. Oh, but I didn't flood you. Come on. Maybe if we just take the cobbler out and fucking put it on top. Put a nice layer of heat there and then sandwich the fucking pizza in between. Uh, again, I don't think that you 
specifically have to do that. I'm going to try a bite of this on its own first and give you the verdict. Mm. Yeah, it's good. That's better than the normal crackers, but kind of dry. Mm. I need the jalapeno spread, as in you'll need it when you're eating dry military crackers. Yeah. Mm. I do know that this jalapeno cheese spread, I have had it before, is uh, pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, baby. Get it auto-focused. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this. I didn't and never eat breakfast, so. Got to eat at some point. My appetite has been off the chain lately, too. Why exactly? Maybe I'm pregnant with an alien baby or something. Put a little bit on there. It's never spicy enough, I will say that much. Bon appetit. Mm. Mm. Good without ever being even remotely spicy. You can't taste the jalapeno at all. They used to have little uh, Tabasco sauce things in these. Ah. A spoon. Mmm, smear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> oh, look at that. Mmm, delicious. And just think, these are way better than the uh, military rations that they used to have back in, like, the 90s or the 2000s. And light years better than the ones they had in Vietnam or Korea. At least uh, people say so. Mmm. Mmm. I wonder if I underfilled it actually. That would be something for me. Come on. Well, I'll try putting a little bit more of the water in. No, if I have that or I ruin it even further. It doesn't really matter. All these components, for the most part, can be eaten cold. They don't have to be even hot. <clears throat> and these heaters are uh they can be a little bit on the unreliable side admittedly we'll give that a minute while we finish up our veggie crackers here i'm just going to put the well, yeah. let's try some cherry blueberry cobbler which i definitely will not enjoy again i don't typically eat sweets get a smell of that it doesn't smell bad uh as far as sweets go i'm gonna try to get you a picture yeah i'm on no that's a little bit too focused in it doesn't look terrible oh i'm taking one for the team oh hmm i want jalapeno in it i don't know i'll get someone else to eat it maybe mm. the blueberry is better than the cherry but then again i'm not a cherry fan there's some cinnamon in there. That's pretty good. It's not bad as far as sweets go. Again, this is menu 23. Pizza slice, pepperoni. I'll try to show you that. There we go. So, veggie crackers so far, 8 out of 10. Better than normal crackers. The cheese spread's just cheese spread. This is, uh, again, if you like sweets, you probably would like that. If you don't, so if you're me, it's like, eh, no thanks. Not the worst thing in the world, but. Definitely thirst provoking. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't put these in military rations. You want a super soldier and give them these. Mm. Flavor good, especially with these new crackers. I've never seen them in an MRE before. And so it's just crackers. There's no vegetables in them at all. Yeah, this is like not even hot plate mode. Fuck that. 
I can't wait to try the pizza. Again, sent by a subscriber. I didn't want a shout out, actually. Wondering, I should have probably saved some of that for this in case it's a well, weird or something. That's a packet, of course. Yeah, you're not supposed to eat this. It's not actually seasoning. If you're in the U.S. Marines, probably you can get away with it. All right. That surprisingly smells a lot better than I expected. I'm going to show you. The, it looks like a monstrosity. Okay, so what does it look like? It looks like something you were served in fifth grade. In, uh, and a little pizza of meat fall out. Served in fifth grade. Um, the cardboard pizza. You remember that? You probably do from elementary school. Like they do those big pans of pizza. And they would always be burnt. This is not burnt. It's uh, actually pretty squishy. Bon appetit. Mmm. 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 That's genuinely not bad. They actually fucking did it. They actually managed to do it. Apparently, they had been talking about uh, putting pizza in MREs for <laughs> since the Vietnam era or even before. And they could never figure it out. The problem is cheese usually has live culture, so if you package that up, you're either having to heat it too much, I guess, and it, and it sort of makes it, you know, unpalatable. Or uh, you don't heat it enough and then it, it rots too quickly. And so the problem was really preservation. Now, of course, this is heating up. Okay, well, we'll warm up the rest of it vaguely while we plow through this. Um, I don't know how they did this but it probably cost tens of millions of taxpayer dollars and took about 50 years. Well, most of the people working on uh, <laughs> pizza MREs at first, they're, they've are they all croaked by now. They're like Diane Feinstein. But finally, they did it. And I can imagine, based on the comparison of flavor to this to most of the U.S. MREs, admittedly, U.S. MREs are reasonably good. There's nothing terribly wrong with them, unless you get a vomit, I suppose. They phase that out. Um, most of them, though, you know, it's like a 6 out of 10 sort of thing. It's okay. It's edible. There's nothing terribly wrong with it, but it's not, it's not like Grandma used to cook. This, I'm assuming, is probably fairly sought after because it's actually good. And by good, I mean, like, pretty fucking good. Mm. I got mm. I'm sure that more than one person has done this. I mean, these are thirst provoking anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Mm. I know I'm being a pig, but I'm fucking starving. Mm. Okay. Oh, funny story. <laughs> the other day, I didn't have any energy drinks. I forgot to buy more the day before. And uh, so I wanted coffee. Now, normally there's some instant coffee on hand. My parents drink decaf because they're goofy. But uh, there should have been coffee. But there wasn't. And uh, so I raided the MREs. I opened all four of them up. And I've got about a half a dozen more, but I don't know exactly where they are. So these are the this one, and I've got three others back there. I'll show you in a minute. Don't worry, I'll be eating those over the next week or so. And... Uh, only two of them had coffees in them. Now, normally there's one or two coffees standard in MRE. But two of them didn't have any coffee. Uh, they had the isotonic bullshit that I ended up drinking the raspberry one and it looked like I was Dracula there for a minute. <laughs> it's pretty funny. At least it has maltodextrin in it. And uh, the other two had coffee. Uh, this one didn't. But they were oxidized. And these are fairly new MRE, so I don't know exactly how that happened. I mean, the creamer was fine in this one. And in the others, they all had creamer, but two of them didn't have coffee to go with the creamer. Like, I don't know what the fuck is happening here. That's warm-ish, I suppose. Let's uh, eat our cracker. Mmm. Love this bullshit. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Extra cheese. Mmm. <laughs> well, vegetable crackers. That's a win. Please keep those. The jalapeno cheddar has always been good. It's got kind of like a funky factory flavor. But nothing particularly wrong with it or anything like that. It's just sort of, it is what it is. 
Mmm. Mmm. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. While that warms a little bit more, let me show you. We've also got Menu 15 Mexican style chicken stew. And this comes with both spice, like a spice packet, and with the, the same uh, jalapeno cheddar. And nothing in it is particularly spicy, but for what it is, again, they did a reasonably good job. I got vegetable lasagna. <clears throat> this is my all-time favorite so far among all the MREs I've eaten, and I managed to get another one. It was fairly costly, but worth it. Assuming that it's not all bloated and fucked up, I'm going to be a happy camper for that Redux video. Oh, it's delicious. And they discontinued that shit. They keep the ratatouille that's admittedly good, but not as good. They get rid of the fucking vegetarian lasagna. And then vegetable crumbles and taco sauce, which I think I had once before, and I thought it was pretty good. I can't remember how good I thought it was. Also, in these things, they have a rotating sort of uh, accessory packs and stuff. You know, crackers and shit like that. And so uh, it's never necessarily the same twice. Okay, that's about as warm as it's going to get which is to say lukewarm again. Now you can see my extra. My extra cheese additives. Mmm, delicious. Honestly. Mmm. I'll give it a rating when I finish chewing. I'm allowed to be a barbarian, scatter crumbs and talk with my mouth full. It's a military ration. Most dudes eat it on the ground. Perfectly acceptable. Not bad. Not bad. Admittedly not bad for a sweet, at least. I just don't like sugary food. Mm. Here's the verdict on the pepperoni pizza. It is good. You wouldn't buy this in a restaurant. But if you got it in a cafeteria, you'd say it was upper end. <laughs> you would say that this is better than the average fucking the shit that they uh, give to uh, public school students or people in the fucking soup kitchen pales in comparison to this. It's good. As in actually not just edible, but there's an actual good flavor to it. Especially, by the way, with the jalapeno cheddar cheese. It's got enough meat on it. Although, you know, it's dried, you know, crumbles of meat. Again, sort of like a cafeteria pizza. But it's good. This part, you know, the actual crust is pliable, soft. Uh, a little bit crisp on the outside, but mostly pliable. So like a, a shelf-stable bread, like the ones they've had in MREs for a while. And the cheese that's there, I don't know if it's even real cheese. I guess it is, but it tastes the part. And so, you know, reasonably good. Um, again, by, by ration standards. The meat is tasty, although it's a bit on the dry side. I don't know how exactly they did this. It's like definitely space-age technology. After five fucking decades, and thank goodness we are alive for the time when U.S. soldiers can get shelf-stable pizza that might last for 10 or 15 years under the right conditions. Mm. Mm. Genuinely, not bad. They did a good job. I mean, after all of that money. Mm. I just realized you can see my reflection as I'm eating, so I don't know why I'm not showing my face. Hmm. Delicious. No, oh, that's trash. This, uh, oh, now, now, of course, it could talk. Delayed reaction. Rock or something. Yeah, okay. Let me huff some hydrogen. Yeah, I'm not going to open the oatmeal cookie or the uh, chocolate protein drink powder. I'm going to keep those on the side. You know, sometimes I keep components from these. And the older rations, I keep like the uh, the heating elements and stuff like that. And I keep them for a power outage. We had a power outage years ago that lasted three days intermittently. And uh, I was eating MRE coffee and so forth it wasn't bad yeah i ate mres for well you know a couple of meals a day for three days and i didn't even get bricked up they are designed to cause constipation you know 
So yeah, if you do get an opportunity to find one, they tend to get gobbled up fairly quickly. Genuinely one of the better MREs uh, from the U.S. Of course, the best are like the Italian and French and the Swedish rations, but the U.S. is up there. Now, I would put it on the same tier as the U.K. or Australia, which are also good rations. And uh, yeah, I've got no problems with this. This is, if I got this, you know, marching around in the jungle or something, I'd be happy, actually. As opposed to some of the rations throughout time. So yeah. MRE Menu 23 Pizza Slice Pepperoni Meal Ready to Eat Individual Warfighter Recommended Warfighter Tested Warfighter Approved I have a feeling that the Warfighters didn't approve some of the menus, but this one, yeah, I think that they figured it was decent. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Um, really, the vegetable crackers, though, are even a greater advent than the fact that those exist now. Thank goodness, U.S. military. Our taxpayer dollars have paid off. <laughs> I bet you you could probably market those in a store and uh, and they would sell. This I don't think you'd market in a store, but it's edible. They actually figured out how to do it, and uh, this is exciting to me. That's about all. Peace out.